The Curl Up is the only test option used to measure abdominal strength and endurance in the fitness gram. The goal of the Curl Up is to complete as many curl ups as possible, up to a maximum of 75, and to do so at a set cadence or pace. To administer the Curl Up, the examiner needs a gym mat and a measuring strip for each small group of students. The measuring strips may be purchased or made of cardboard, rubber, or any similar thin flat material that is thick enough for students to be able to feel the edges with their fingertips. They should be 30 to 35 inches long. Two widths are needed depending on the age of the students. A 3 inch wide strip is used for students who are ages 5 to 9. And a 4.5 inch wide strip is used for older students. The Pacer CD with player is needed as the CD contains a recorded cadence for the curl up. Examiners may also choose to call the cadence. The pace is one curl up every three seconds. The examiner also needs copies of score recording sheets. The examiner will organize the students into small groups for the curl up. The size and number of groups will depend on the number of students the examiner can accurately monitor and record the scores. Before the day of the test, students should be provided with opportunities to practice the curl up. These practice opportunities should include the use of the cadence CD. The warm-up is important to performance on the curl-up. Remember, the goals of the warm-up are to prepare the body for the activity, improve performance, and reduce injuries. Prior to the beginning of the curl-up, the examiner needs to ensure that each student has a partner. One student will perform the curl-up, while the partner will help the examiner watch for form breaks. The student performing the test lies with his back to the mat and face looking up. The knees are bent at a 140 degree angle, with feet flat on the mat, legs slightly apart. The arms are kept straight and parallel to the trunk, with the palms of the hands resting on the mat. The fingers are stretched out and the head is in contact with the mat. Once the student performing the curl-ups assumes the correct position, the partner places the measuring strip on the mat and under the bent legs. The measuring strip is moved so that the fingertips are just touching the nearest edge of the strip. The audio CD cadence will indicate up, down, and the number of curl-ups completed. With the pace called on the CD, students are signaled to start and perform each curl-up slowly. We'll begin the curl-ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Movement up, should start with a slow down, curling up three, of the upper spine. Up. Down. Four. Up. The fingers should slide across down, the measuring five, strip up, until the fingertips down, reach the other 11, edge of the strip. Up, the student down, then slowly seven, curls back down up, until the head touches the mat. Down, eight, Heels should be up, kept in contact with the mat at all down, times nine, and movement should up, be slow and continuous. Down, ten, the protocol is quite up, different from the familiar and fast-paced sit-ups. Form breaks occur when the student's heels are no longer in contact with the mat. When the head does not touch the mat as the student curls back down, when movements become jerky, when the student stops to rest, when the student cannot keep up with the cadence, and when the fingertips do not touch the other edge of the strip. The examiner signals to the partner when a form break has occurred. The student is stopped when the second form break occurs, when the student can no longer continue, or when the student completes the limit of 75 curl-ups. The score for the curl-up is the number of curl-ups performed. The first form break or incorrect curl up is counted in the score. It is important for the examiner to apply this scoring procedure consistently across all students. The examiner records this score as students complete the test. If the number of curl ups completed is within or exceeds the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student meets the performance standard and should continue doing regular physical activity. If the number of curl ups falls below the range of the healthy fitness zone, this indicates that the student would benefit from physical activities designed to improve abdominal strength and endurance. This video was developed to help ensure the curl-up is administered in a manner consistent with the Fitnessgram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance. For more information about the Physical Fitness Test, we encourage you to visit the California Department of Education PFT webpage.